Wait, valid through 12-31-2020? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Hello and welcome to my channel. If I look the same, it's because I am catching up on my unboxings. <laughs> Ow, and my tooth hurts. I just had to get a filling today right here. And it's way up by my gum on the front of my tooth, so... If I say ow occasionally, that's why. We are doing catch up on unboxings. I think this is going to be a two for guys. I don't want to make this into two videos. You don't want to have to watch two videos. Let's just make it into one. Because I am downsizing on everything. I am downsizing. We're going to be shopping my stash in November and the rest of November and December. We're going to be um, doing a Black Friday collab with... A group of my friends who are all awesome creators and we're all going to talk about shop my stash we're going to talk about maybe decluttering budgeting different ways to use different makeup to do different things with it i'm going to do a whole bunch of fun videos like that i want to start using all of the things i have collected over the past two years that i have not used i have palettes i have not touched in over a year i've never opened them i've opened them and said look at this cool palette i got and then i haven't played with it so we are going to be doing tons of shop my stash we're going to be doing a lot of i bought this palette a year ago do i still love it and trying them so it's going to be really interesting around here um i am not going to be falling into the every single release that comes out i have to buy it there are a couple of ba uh, brands bands bleh, brands speaking of i am mayor i am an indie makeup fanatic i also do unboxings makeup skincare I'm a retired makeup artist, esthetician, hairstylist, and nail tech, and I live in a mountain in the middle of nowhere where I spend too much money, but not anymore. It's going to be Mare, the budget queen. Mare, the reduce, reuse, recycle. Well, I was always that. Um, but we are going to start slowing down a little bit on the spending. Uh, girl's got to think about her retirement plan here. Okay. Anyway. So I got my November Ipsy and I got my November base box for BoxyCharm. Now you may remember in a Boxy video recently, I said I canceled all my Boxies, which I did. I canceled Premium and I canceled Lux back in the beginning of October, I think. Yeah, and my base box was prepaid for six months. So I think I'm still going to get one in December and then I think I'm done. I'm not even sure if I get a December one. I have to look. I looked and I was trying to figure out when it goes to, but I can't figure it out. Boxy's already sending me a million emails going, we'll send you all this free stuff if you come back. I'm like, mm. I got to use a bunch of stuff first, then I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Also, Ipsy, I had prepaid it. So I am still getting Ipsy and I'm still getting, I think, at least maybe one more Boxy. I was shocked to get this one. I'm like, I didn't think I was getting any more. But here she is. But let's do uh, Ipsy first. So this is November Creature Comforts. And I just get the little one. I never went for the big glam bag and all the stuff because I'm like, I like the little bags. I like the, this is cute. It's very 90s. Everything comes back around. I remember when all the animal print first came around in the 90s. Everybody wore it. I was all into the snow leopard stuff because I like clearly black, spooky, gothy stuff. And I was into the snow leopard. I had the coolest snow leopard skirt. I absolutely loved it. Anyway, I should have kept it because now it's all coming back. Shop Black Friday with Ipsy. Um, no, because I'm not going to buy more stuff. But thank you for offering. The weather outside is getting frightful, but we've got you covered with all things delightful. Cozy up to this month's array of creature comforts, nourishing skincare, at-home treatments, feel-good makeup for guaranteed beauty bliss. Thank you for, again, I don't know why, but like some months they put all what's in here and some months they don't. Five new products valued at $50 plus dollars are yours. Let's start with, let's see, we have a Murad Renewing Eye Cream. I'm loving, see, I like getting all these little things because I have so much to use. Ooh, this is really little. She tiny. Oh, look how cute. It's like little baby. Little tiny. T oh, and it matches my nails. Look at that. <gasps> Would you look at that? And my lips. Okay, so this is a renewing eye cream. So definitely going to use this because I can use this in like a week. See yourself through renewed eyes with this brightening eye cream. Contains advanced peptides and retinol to mi minimize fine lines and wrinkles. Mango butter to help increase elasticity. And an eye brightening complex to reduce 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 dark circles and perfinish and perfinish to reduce 
I can't say reduce. To reduce. It's because my gum hurts. Ow. To reduce dark circles and puffiness. Tip. Gently pat small around about, around eye area, lids, and brow bones. Yeah, we know how to put on eye The MSRP of the full size is $86. Yeah, I think I'll just try this one. Thank you very much. I have plenty of eye creams, but I'm glad to try this. I got a Firma Beauty 405 Precision Angled Blending Brush Pro. This is obviously, it's a full size brush. Could you imagine if they sent you a sample size brush? It's like, wait, hi, I got a sample size brush. Actually, this is not. This is really cute. It's, I want my pink shirt back. This has nothing to do with Ipsy or Boxy, but it was on my desk. I want my pink shirt back! This was from the Perfusion um, Cosmetics Mean Girls thing, but I just thought it was hilarious because it says, I want my pink shirt back. And it's a little brow brush and a fluffy thing. I love this. This is a really good one. And I like these, but this is like a sample size brush. <laughs> just It just happened to be here. Okay, just go with it. Anyway, not for resale. Firmabeauty.com. Let's feel this thing. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's a nice brush. Okay, this is on par with my... This feels like my Lunar Beauty brushes. This is totally on par with the Lunar Beauty brushes, for sure. Um, thick brush. If you have trouble hanging on to little skinny brushes, or maybe you have arthritis or fibromyalgia, all my friends out there, I know who you are. We know you have trouble holding things. Uh, Sonny's, I'm looking at you with your wrist issues. This is a very thick brush. Let me show you in comparison to, um, let's see, let me find another eye brush that's similar. Do I have an angle brush that's similar? Well, I have this one. This is my Sigma Precision, and this is actually a diamond shaped, but look at the difference in the width between this one and this one. This is the Sigma, and this is the one that I just got. So see how much wider that is? So you can really get a good grip on this if you have trouble hanging on to slippery brushes. And this is kind of a matte finish on this. So this is a very good, if you have trouble handling brushes, this is a nice brush. Might want to think about this. A blended base is the key to every great makeup look with ultra soft tapered bristles. This brush helps you blend your highlighter and contour to the smallest areas. Wash after using cre creams to avoid streaking. So um, this says, you know, to blend highlighter and contour. But if you also have trouble, you know, with holding little brushes for your eyes, you could use this on the brow bone. You could use it in, depending on this, I have little tiny eyes, but you could use this in a crease. Just saying. You probably could. But Blending Brush Pro, I like it. It's going to stay on the desk. It's staying right here, right there. I'm going to be using that for sure. But that's also a great one for blending contour. It's good for the sides of your nose when you do that contour on the sides or even like right here, but I usually use a bigger brush for here. But if you do wanna blend it up, you might wanna use a smaller one. But that is a good nose blending contour brush if you do that. You know me, I'm not always into the contour, but oh, it's got an orange stripe on the front. Okay, now it's, this is total 90s. This is straight up 90s. Uh, the 90s called, they want their <laughs> they want their purse back. <laughs> no, I, I actually love it, it's cute, it's very cute. Um, we have Barefoot Venus Ruby Red Macadamia Oil Body Cream. Look at the cute design on this. It's, it's got the Eiffel Tower and oh my god. Look at Miss Thing laying in front. Wait. Uh, not family friendly. Not family friendly. <laughs> Girl with their boobs hanging out in front of the Eiffel Tower. I love the packaging though. This is really... Oh wait. I need some hand cream. My hands are so dry. Just wash them. We can't tell what we love most about this hand cream. The way it instantly treats dry or chafed skin with a combo of macadamia nuts, sesame seed, and wheat germ oils, or the bright citrusy scent it leaves behind. Oh, I love citrusy hand creams and body creams. Either way, it's our go-to hand treatment. Slather all over your hands. Don't forget your cuticles, which I am not. MSRP. This is a deluxe sample. Really? Well, that's a nice size for a deluxe sample. But the MSRP of the full size is $10. Where do you buy it? Hold on. Barefootvenus.com. It's made in Canada. It's a Canadian brand. Scan for a free add-on. Okay, I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to do that. I said I'm not going to buy more stuff, but the one thing I need in the winter is hand cream. I, I'm always outside, working outside in the freezing cold. Because, hello, I have a little mini farm. I have chickens, ducks. I have a turkey. I have to clean, I have I have to muck out duck and chicken 
bedding and all kinds of grossness out in the yard. So I have to do that even in the winter. It doesn't matter how cold it is. I mean, I'll have gloves on, but still my hands get so chafed from being outside, working outside all winter long. So that is a very strong citrus. Wow. It's weird. It's ruby red though. It does, it, it smells like a ruby red grapefruit. Oh, I like it. It almost has a little bit of a Fruit Loop scent to it. When I go like this and smell my palm, it smells like Fruit Loops. It's a hit. I love it. Staying by the bed. Okay. Naked Cosmetics. Pressed Pigments Eyeshadow in Desert Sunset 04. Single Pot Eyeshadow makes sprucing up your look fun and easy. I can already tell I'm going to gift this to someone I know. I know exactly who I'm giving this to. She will love it. Um... You can spritz with a setting spray to help color stand for you. Now, this is kind of cool. Use on lids, cheeks, or nose to add a pop of richly pigmented rose gold that brightens up your face. This is a full size, and it's $15. I like that it's in, like, the recycled. Okay. From Palm Harbor, Florida, NakedCosmetics.com. Oh, she's pretty. Okay, maybe should I keep it? <gasps> Look at it. it. It is a really, really pretty rose gold. I don't know, though. Mm. I know somebody who would love this. I'm going to think about it. It's going to go in the maybe pile. That's going to have to go in the maybe. Okay, I, for, in my defense, the picture right here, I looked at it and went, ooh. Because I thought it was a matte pink, and it's not. It's a rose gold. But I know somebody who will look so good on, and I said I have too much stuff. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'm going to do her makeup for her, and if she likes it, she can have it. How's that? And I saved the best for last. I am so excited. I can't believe... They gave us a candle. A freaking candle. Juicy Couture Honey Bee Candle. Take your relaxation to the next level with this stylish and divinely scented candle. The moment you light it, the delightful aroma of wild honey, creamy vanilla, and orange blossom. Oh my God. Who are you? Wait, somebody out there. She hates orange blossom. And I was like, what's wrong with you? It's my favorite scent. And I can't remember if it's someone in Florida and they said I'm just sick of orange blossom because that's all I smell. Anyway... If you're the orange blossom hater, comment below. I forgot who it is. I'm thinking it's like right on the tip of my tongue and I can't remember. Um, does that unscrew? Oh yeah, it kind of unscrews. Okay, wait. Orange blossom will fill the room and your senses with a warm and unforgettable scent. Make sure wax melts to edges but during your first burn to avoid tunneling, of course. So it means, you know, do the wax pool thing. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, in defense of orange blossom, I smell more honey and vanilla, and the orange blossom is the third thing listed. I do not get a ton of orange blossom, but holy crap, I love this. I love me a travel candle, because you know I'm obsessed with candles, and me and these stupid nails is all it. Like... That's all I do all day long is tap on things. Uh, MSRP of the full-size version is $35. This is a deluxe sample. Well, this is really cool because, you know, try the deluxe sample. If you like it, you can get the full-size candle. I have too many candles, so I don't need one, but I do like this. If I go to Michigan, I can take my little travel candle with me. This is going to stay on my desk. This is going in my bathroom. This is going next to my bed. And the brush is on my desk. A successful bag. Thumbs up on this one. Okay, I like it. That's, that's a good one. Oh my God. I can't, I'm getting, every time I get a boxy now, it's like, I'm getting kind of melancholy about it. In this boxy, you guys, this is a crazy ass boxy charm. I have to admit I peeked in here. Why is, oh my God, my phone's being stupid. There we go. I need my calculator. Uh, hold on. I'm going to add up what I have. Hold on one second. The MSRP of this base box is, oh God, my gum hurts, 236 doll hairs. 236. You know why? There's something worth $150 in here that I would never buy. But <laughs> will I take it? <laughs> yes. Okay, let's see what's in here. What is in here that is $236? Uh, let's start with Reveal Ultra. Ooh. Ultra Hydrating Cucumber Melon Gel Mask. I was just thinking I'm going to start using all my masks. I am going to start doing Mask Monday and Face Mask Friday because I have so many masks to use up. 
and I have been neglecting the hell out of my skin. I know it doesn't look like it. Without my makeup on and at night or in the morning, I wake up and I'm like, ooh, girl, ooh, ooh, she needs help. Ooh, this is only good for six months too, so we're gonna we're gonna use the crap out of this one. So this is by Tint Reveal Spa Water Gel Mask. I like the sound of that. Reveal beautiful, hydrated, and glowing skin with this refreshing and revitalizing spa water gel mask, formulated with hyaluronic acid, cucumber, and melon extract. So it probably smells melon-ish. Refined skin with hydration for finer looking pores and an overall healthy, radiant glow. MSRP twenty eight. Um, let's see. Apply a thick layer onto face and neck, leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, massage in excess gel, or remove by patting excess using a slightly damp face cloth or cotton pad. So this is sounds like you don't have to totally rinse it off. That's interesting. Massage in excess gel or remove. Hmm. Interesting. So... I like the packaging too. It's very bougie. It's very spa. And oh my god, I can smell it through. I'm not going to take this off yet. I can smell it through there and it definitely I smell melon. So that's going to be fun. That is ooh, and hydrating this time of year. My heater's going like crazy. Need that. Uh we have a mango cherry. Oh, lip balm, Luna Magic. Luna Magic. I have a dog named Luna. Hi to all the other Lunas out there. One of the most popular pet names, I know. But mine is Luna Bun. So she's Luna, but she's Luna Bun. So this is the Luna Magic Beauty Lush and Plush Hydrating Lip Balm. Sheer lightweight lip balm. Leaves lips soft and lush, infused with vitamin C to nourish lips, and formulated with jojoba oil to heal dry lips and help lock in moisture. MSRP $16, and it's a new launch. I just want to see what the packaging looks like. Real quick. Oh, they're just tubes. Cute, but the colors are really cute. Little tubes. Oh, this is Ciate Velvet Lip Liner. I, I've been using more and more lip liners lately, but I've been wearing the weird colors, so I have to keep finding like the weird lip colors. And I'm so excited that ColourPop actually has black lip liner, which is so cool because it's so affordable. This looks pretty. Not really my shade, but... It, oh, that's a nice lip liner, though. I like the point on it. It's kind of a salmon pink. I'm not going to swatch it, so I'm not going to use it right away. I have a lot that are kind of this shade. So this is um, Velvet Lip Liner by Ciate London. Achieve velvety soft lips with this liner. Soft matte, intensely pigmented formula glides effortlessly onto lips to perfectly define or reshape lips. Perfect pout is just a stroke away. Oh, it's shade Coco by the way. It doesn't say on here, but on the bottom, it's in very tiny letters. It says Velvet Lip Liner Shade Cocoa, but it's not really brown. Uh, it is um, vegan and global animal test policy. So I like this. I mean, this is something I'll say because it's vegan. And the other nice thing about this is I know it's like this soft salmon-y pink, and I wouldn't normally wear that, but on days I don't wear makeup, one thing I'll do is maybe throw a primer on and I will just do some like lip liner and blend it in and put some lip balm. And it just adds like a little tint to your lips without being like green. And then I don't look like I'm, I don't have people going, are you okay? Are you feeling all right? Next, uh, Item Beauty by Addison Ray in my Element eyeshadow palette. Why do I think I'm not gonna like an Addison Ray eyeshadow palette? She's got this little thing that like you can tear off the top of the box, but I'm not going to because I don't know that I'm going to keep this one. Have them seeing stars with this blendable, buildable 10 shade shadow palette with out of this world looks. This is also vegan. Might have to just save it. Animal test free. I'm anything vegan. I usually hold on to. I do like the little moon in the hands on the front. That's very me. Look the little little hands with the moon in it. Oh my god. Oh my god. My battery died just as I was about to do the big reveal. I was saying I like the packaging. Um, Robert Welsh was talking about how everybody does this kind of, plat, you know, cardboardy disposable packaging and it doesn't feel like special and fancy and all that. I don't necessarily always mind that because this is so much more sustainable. Ooh, I love, I actually kind of love how this feels. It feels like silky. It feel, It's weird. Have them seeing stars with this. Uh, dermatologist tested and vegan and animal test free. Good for 12 months. 
Uh, MSRP only $24, which is reasonable. Oh, it's pretty, but I should keep this and force myself to use it. I'm not kidding. It's so... Starstruck Zenith Solar Air Sign, star, air sign star Sign Stellar Lunar Eclipse Interstellar Starship and Moon Star. It is very neutral. It is the the metallics are pretty. It's very lunar beauty, I will say, with the moons and the things. Only not as fancy because Manny just goes crazy with this stuff. But um, let me turn it this way. So there are the shades. It is pretty. I feel so weird doing neutrals, you know? I I, I want to start a thing called Neutral Goth because, in case you didn't know, I am, in fact, a chaotic goth. I am not a neutral goth. I'm a chaotic goth. But I want to do some, like, weird neutral goth looks. I just want to see if I can do... I love seeing if I can do things, you know? Just, like, trying to see if I can do it. Okay, so here's the thing that is the most expensive. And I'm really excited to try this because now my hair is long. And this is all my hair. I do not have any extensions. This is all my hair, everybody. Um, this is a mini heat brush. The MSRP on this is $150. Perfect for on-the-go styling and touch-ups. Powerful and easy to use as a full-size tool. Compact enough to carry everywhere you go. Rapid heat time and heat resistant bristles allow this cute handy brush to glide through your hair quickly and easily. Safe for all hair types. Oh, they have a thing with like all the stuff they make in here. But it's basically, it's a heated brush is all it is. So I used to have one of these a million years ago. I just got the little bristles. Let's see if it tangles in my hair. Oh no, it doesn't. A little bit. It's a little, oh my god. Okay, yeah. But this would be really nice just to like go through and like I kind of want to heat it up and try it uh, high temp caution hmm kind of really want to try it I don't have anywhere to plug it in right here I may have to try this in another video but I do want to try it and see how it works and if it actually will work in this rat's nest of a hairdo here so this is $150 for this. Would I pay $150 for this? Oh, hell no. I don't pay $150 for any of my hair stuff, but that's just me. Oh my God. They have a use code SOUL55 for 55%. Wait, valid through 12-31-2020? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Why did they... Has this been sitting there since 2020, Boxy? Um, I, I want answers. Focus. Look at the valid through. I'm like all excited. I'm like 55% off. 1231, 2020. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to say anymore. Sometimes I'm, sometimes I go... I don't feel that bad that I canceled Boxy. Anyway, so that was my base box. <clears throat> Possibly my last one. I'll find out if I'm going to get one in December. I don't know. It might be paid through December. I think it, I think it did it in July. So it be July, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah, I think I'll get one in December. If I don't, I don't. And I really won't mind because I want to start using everything up. But this was $236. It was a MSRP 50 or something plus on the Ipsy. And that's it for the unboxings for the subscription things. <sighs> They're fun, but it's like, I want to use the stuff. I don't want to just unbox this. I want to do videos using it, not always unboxing it, you know? So you're going to see more of the using it and less of the unboxing everything because that's what I'm here for is to test this stuff. I spent all this money on it. We need to see if it's worth it because right now a lot of it's sitting on my shelves. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon, probably tomorrow because I'm uploading every day again. It's getting to be that time. It's gonna, it's beginning to look good like Vlogmas and it's also time for me to go. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And watch out for my 900 subscriber giveaway because I am about to film that any minute now. Lots of collabs, lots of fun stuff coming up. 
lots of using up all of the stuff that I've gotten all year, all through December. So it is going to be a huge, like probably October was huge for me. December, I just, you know, I'm always raising the bar for myself. I went crazy in October uploading. December, I want to be even bigger and better. So if you thought October was something, wait until you see the nightmare before Vlogmas. I will see you then. And I'll see you before then. Bye for now.